مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم اي هوب يو اول ويل اند هاف يو وندرفول داي ويلكم تو انذر سيشن ليرنينج 1110 اربيك فريزز اند ان تو داي سيشن ويل بي ليرنينج 12 فريزز how to avoid answering questions in 1110 Arabic. As always in these tutorials, I'll be starting with the masculine version. And if there is a feminine variant, then I'll definitely mention it. And if there isn't, then I won't be mentioning it. And as always, if you're enjoying these sessions, then definitely consider subscribing and hit that like button. Hopefully you'll find some sessions and tutorials that are helpful and would help you with your 1110 Arabic studies. Let's start. Our first phrase is straight to the point. If you don't like to comment uh, on a certain topic, somebody's asking you something and you don't feel comfortable or would like to comment. So you could say, مبحب على الموضوع. مبحب, I do not like. I don't like. ما بحب, ما which means not and بحب which means I love or I like. مبحب, I don't like. على Alla, which is to comment. And this is one of the verbs I conjugated in the Easy Grammar book, which you could find a link in the description below as well. Alla. So, alla, which means to comment. Mabhab alla, I don't like to comment. A, which means on, il mawdu'a, it's the topic. So, what you're trying to say, no comment. So, that's a literal translation for it. Mabhab alla. Al-Mawdu'a. So if somebody asks you about something and you don't want to comment, simply just say, Ma b'hab al-le' al-Mawdu'a. Ma b'hab al-le' al-Mawdu'a. Our next phrase, if you similarly, you don't want to talk about the topic and you say it's not my liberty to say, maybe because you don't have the information, or maybe you don't want to talk about it because it's not for you to talk or answer this topic. So you could say, مش بإيدي أحكي مش, which means not. You can certainly, instead of مش, you could use ما if you want to, but this is how the phrase is used in dialect. So you could say, مش بإيدي بإيد, which means hand. إيد, إيد is hand, and إيدي is my hand. بإيدي which literally means in my hand. It's not in my hand. Ehki to say or to speak. So I'm not at liberty to say. Mish bi'idi ehki. Mish bi'idi ehki. Mish bi'idi ehki. Our next phrase, if you want to say, you'll see it later yourself. So meaning wait and see. And the Arabic, we say, Baden b'tshuf. لحالك بعدين which means later بتشوف you see masculine a guy you're talking to a guy a man بتشوف لحال which means alone لحالك which means yourself so that's the overall translation so you can say لحالك yourself and that is if you're talking to a masculine a guy let's go over it again بعدين بتشوف لحالك بعدين بتشوف لحالك wait and see بعدين بتشوف لحالك بعدين بتشوف لحالك so that's if you're talking to a man if you're talking to a woman you would say بعدين بتشوفي لحالك بعدين بتشوفي لحالك بعدين بتشوفي لحالك the main two differences between the masculine and the feminine version the phrase that you use it to talk to a man and the phrase that you use it to talk to a woman the verb here is بتشوف if you're talking to a man and بتشوفي if you're talking to a woman equally on the other side with the possessive pronouns you say لحالك if you're talking to a man لحالك and if you're talking to a woman you would say لحالك ek ek sound that ends with an ek sound let me go over the two phrases again so you can see the difference between both when it comes to reading or pronouncing. Baden betshuf lahalak. Baden betshuf lahalak. And if you're talking to a woman, you would say, Baden betshufi lahalek. Baden betshufi lahalek. Baden betshufi lahalek. And this is the phrase and what it means in English. Wait and see yourself later, or wait and see. 
I want to express if you simply, you maybe you don't have the information and you could just say, you know, let me get back to you. And uh, you could either have more information or more reasons not to reply. In Arabic, you could say, خليني شوف وبردلك خبر. خليني, let me, شوف, see. وبرد, I answer, بردلك, I'll answer to you, I'll reply to you. خبر, some news. So that's a literal translation and it is, let me see and I will reply to you with some news. Meaning, let me get back to you. خليني شوف وبردلك خبر. And that's if you're talking to a man. خليني شوف وبردلك خبر. And if you're talking to a woman, you would say خليني شوف وبردلك خبر. خليني شوف وبردلك خبر. And that means, let me get back to you. خليني شوف وبردلك خبر. Our next phrase, if you would like to say, sorry, this is confidential. You could say, أنا آسف. أنا آسف. I'm sorry. Sorry. هادا سري. سري. سري, which means private or confidential or secret. Sometimes people, instead of سري, they tend to use خاص. 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 So you could either say, أنا آسف. هادا سري. Sorry, this is confidential. This is a secret. Or you could say, أنا آسف. هادا خاص. أنا آسف. هادا خاص. Let me know which one you prefer. Whether you prefer, أنا آسف. هادا سري. Or, أنا آسف. هادا خاص. خاص, which means private or confidential. Our next phrase ties a lot with the previous one. So instead of saying this is confidential, you could say, well, this is personal and you don't want to talk about it or answer it. So here you're trying to avoid answering the question. So you could say, أنا آسف هذا شخصي. أنا آسف هذا شخصي. So شخص, which means person, and E makes an adjective, so personal. شخصي. أنا آسف هذا شخصي. Sorry, this is personal. Sometimes in Levantana Arabic, people add the word mata within the sentence. So they would say, أنا آسف هذا أمر شخصي. أنا آسف, sorry, هذا, this, أمر. أمر. أمر, which means mata. شخصي. Personal. Sorry, this is a personal matter. So you don't want to talk about it and you don't want to answer it. Both of these phrases are absolutely fine. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to the second one because uh, that's as well used uh, as the top one. Uh, so it's absolutely up to you, whichever you go for. Our next phrase, it is a little bit higher in terms of tone. So when you're trying to say, mind your own business. So in Arabic, you could say, خليك بحالك خليك let yourself خليك stay بحالك in your business so stay in your business meaning mind your own business خليك بحالك خليك بحالك and that's if you're talking to a masculine that's if you're talking to a man خليك بحالك so if you're talking to a man you'd say خليك بحالك mind your own business and if you're talking to a woman, you would say, خليكي بحالك. خليكي بحالك. خليكي بحالك. خليكي بحالك. And as you see here, the main difference between both is the verb conjugation and the possessive pronouns at the end of both of these phrases, as always. So again, let me go over the phrase. خليك بحالك. If you're talking to a masculine, to a man, خليكي بحالك if you're addressing a woman. خليكي بحالك mind your own business. On the same meaning, we do have another phrase that people tend to use it a lot, which means mind your own business. And in Arabic, we say 
اهتم بأمورك الخاصة اهتم pay attention أمور is matters so بأمور matters الخاصة private look after your private matters first thus meaning uh, mind or look after your personal matters first that's, so that's the idea of somebody asking about something you know what you say is please mind or look after or pay attention to your personal matters then come and ask me about for example the topic that he's asking you about so this is the phrase and people tend to use it so they would say اهتم بأمورك الخاصة اهتم بأمورك الخاصة اهتم بأمورك الخاصة and that's if you're talking to a man and if you're talking to a woman you would say اهتمي بأمورك الخاصة اهتمي ب that's ب أمورك الخاصة اهتمي بأمورك الخاصة and that's if you're talking to a woman اهتم بأمورك الخاصة if you're talking to a man اهتمي بأمورك الخاصة if you're talking to a woman our next phrase is sometimes when people try to avoid the questions like you know I'll tell you when you're older and that could be for a number of reasons could be when the child is a bit more mature or could be the information is not age appropriate so we say in Arabic بحكي إلاك بس تكبر بحكي إلاك I'll tell you بس when تكبر you are older بحكي إلاك بس تكبر I'll tell you when you are older looking back I have made uh, a tutorial talking about the multi meanings for the conjunction bus uh, so it has a number of meanings in Levantine Arabic and I have made a dedicated tutorial for the use and the meaning of bus in Levantine Arabic. I'll leave a link for it in the cards and you could simply go to the video section and search uh, for more. I have approximately made nearly 450 videos if not more. I never counted to be honest. But yeah, lots of videos there for you at your disposal to go and watch and enjoy. So yeah, have a look at it. Let's come back again to the phrase and it is بحكي إلاك بس تكبر and that's if you're talking to a man the next phrase if you're talking to a woman you would say بحكي إلاك بس تكبري بحكي إلاك بس تكبري بحكي إلاك بس تكبري and again the top one you would talk to a boy and the below you would use it to talk to a girl بحكي إلاك بس تكبر بحكي إلك بس تكبري Our next phrase is on the meaning Why do you want to know? And based on the answer you could either answer or avoid answering the question So you could say in Arabic ليش بدك تعرف ليش why بدك do you want تعرف to know ليش بدك تعرف if you're talking to a man ليش بدك تعرف ليش بدك تعرف and if you're talking to a woman you would say ليش بدك تعرفي ليش بدك تعرفي ليش بدك تعرفي ليش بدك تعرفي and that is on the meaning why do you want to know let me go over the phrase again if you're talking to a man you would say ليش بدك تعرف ليش بدك تعرف and if you're talking to a woman ليش بدك تعرفي ليش بدك تعرفي our next phrase if you would like to say I can't tell you so you could say ما فيني إلاك ما فيني I cannot إلاك to tell you ما فيني إلاك I can't tell you ما فيني I can't إلاك to tell you the verb to say or to tell إلاك is being shortened a lot and here is what's made of أول to say and إلاك is to you أول إلاك to tell you but obviously in dialect uh, as always people tend to shorten these verbs and combinations so I wanted to show you what's made of but that's the pronunciation how people or natives would use and say so they would say 
ما فيني اقول لك I can't tell you talking to a man ما فيني اقول لك and if you're talking to a woman you would say ما فيني اقول لك ما فيني اقول لك and similarly it's made of قول إليك قول إليك but people as always tend to shorten it and they would say إليك ما فيني إليك ما فيني إليك I can't tell you, and that's if you're talking to a woman. Ma fini illak, and that's if you're talking to a man. And with this, I'll end today's tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you did, as always, don't forget to hit that like button and comment and uh, share with your friends and family. So hopefully they as well enjoy. And equally, if you want to support the channel, uh, so do please do so to help me, to help you and everybody else to make more videos, hopefully. To help everybody to enjoy and learn Levantine Arabic, regardless of your reasons, could be family or could be travel. Till next time, stay safe. Ma salame.